All right, guys, uh, welcome back. I went to a place in Jersey called, uh, let's see, what was it? It was Retro Classics in Somerville, New Jersey, and they had a ton of shit. Uh, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff. The worst part of this, though, was the fact that I did not know I was going to find as much stuff as I did, and I literally had no way, I was flying back to Tennessee from Newark, so I had no idea how I was going to get this stuff back. So I had to put it in the suitcase, and I did it as best as I could, putting clothes on top of games that would get smushed in boxes, etc. And suffice it to say, it was not the best way of doing things, but also suffice it to say, uh, some of you guys are going to cringe when you see the condition some of the stuff is in. Um, and I'm not happy about it, but again, I did not have a choice. First up, I'm going to show you this. This is a Super Mario Brothers Wii, some Japanese thing. Um, he threw it in for free for me. I don't know exactly what this is. Somebody wants to comment in the comment section below. You can tell me what it is. Great. All right. Uh, we're going to just do this in random order. And I very rarely do this, but I'm going to do the best I can. It's just going to be random. So for the PS2, first up I have the King of Fighters 2003 and the King of Fighters 2002 from SNK Neo Geo, USA Consumer Corporation. The King of Fighters 20, 2003, the beginning of a new trilogy, and the King of Fighters 2002 combined in this ultimate 2-in-1 pack of Extreme 2D Fighting on two DVDs. So KOF 2003 features 8th installment of the franchise, a total of 35 characters yielding 11 of the most dangerous 2D fighting teams ever assembled, plus hidden boss characters. Introducing 10 beautifully rendered 3D battle stages, features the new multi-shift system allowing the free substitution of teammates during battles, select your team leader with the new tactical leader system, learn the combo moves for your favorite fighters and unleash massive attacks. And KOF 2002 features a total of 44 characters from KOF 96 through KOF 2001, available for the first time in one arena. 13 extreme 2D fighting teams with 5 bonus characters. Revives the extremely popular 3-on-3 three -three battle format, upgraded max on power system, and over-the-top super special moves to cause extreme damage. I'm not happy that there's a sticker here that says Oscars. Let me see if I can get, this, get rid of this. Did not see that when I purchased it. Oh, son of a bitch. Almost got it. Let's see if I can do it from this end. Oh my god, what the hell? Really? Let's see. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. That's hell of a job. Better than what I'm going to get. Maybe if I can get one more in there and get this part off, we're good to go. Even if it is what it is and it sticks there. What are you going to do? Oh, my OCD is making me do this now. Look at this. Would you just look at this? There we go. All right, good. So that's cool. Next up, picked up Hack Infection, or Dot Hack Infection. 45-minute anime DVD included, www.dothack.com. This is from Bandai. This is part one. So, you're in their world now. Who is Aura? What is the Book of Twilight? Why did your friend Orca fall into a mysterious coma? As the outlaw player, Kite, you're on a mission of truth. Take a journey into a virtual world where anything is possible and nothing as it appears. Fight your way through contaminated levels of cyberspace as you take on and eliminate enemies and unlock codes that will allow you to gate travel to even more environments, all in a desperate attempt to discover who or what's behind the world. Embark on an epic journey to unlock the truth lurking behind the world. Dot Hack ranks among the top nine RPGs for 2003. Dot Hack is a light years ahead of most cliche riddled RPGs, says official PlayStation Magazine. You thought EverQuest was addictive, says GamePro Magazine. And Dot Hack reeks of mystery and conspiracy, says Extended Play. Simulated MMORPG, no internet connection required. Dual voiceover, choose either English or Japanese for a totally immersive experience. Multiple quests with detailed environments that transform in real time. Combine keywords to generate customized fields. Uh, like I said, there's a 45 minute anime DVD included. From the creators of Ghost in the Shell and Evangeline includes a separate DVD containing an exclusive 45 minute original anime movie. Watch it and uncover clues to solve the mystery of Dot Hack. So, uh, from Bandai, we have Dot Hack Infection Part 1 for the PS2. Next up for the N64, not in the greatest of shape when I got it, so that really the, the travel had nothing to do with it, but this is Ken Griffey Jr.'s Slugfest. I'm happy I was able to finally get this. Step up to the plate. Bursting with stunning realism and high excitement baseball action, Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest drives home the winning run. Improved player animations and color commentary by Dave Niehaus, the voice of the Mariners, make you feel like you're really at the game. While easy-to-use controls, updated rosters and statistics, and an optional fantasy draft make it even more fun than being there. 
Super high resolution mode, only available when using the N64 expansion pack sold separately, delivers amazing detail and stunning graphics. Create and save your own big league players. Stare down the batters on every pitch with the all-new pitcher cam. Up to four players can control teams in season mode. Licensed by Major League Baseball and the Major League Baseball Players Association. So, you can go to MajorLeagueBaseball.com, Nintendo.com, and BigLeaguers.com. This is Ken Griffey Jr. Slugfest, not in the greatest of shape, smushed box. I think I picked it up for like two bucks, but complete, obviously. This I'm not happy about. This was in better shape than when I opened it up when I got home. This is for the Sega CD Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective Volume 2. And it is fucked up, and I'm not happy about it. It is in fucking rough shape. I'm just praying to God I can somehow... I mean, it is what it is. Grab your cloak, get your cap, the game's afoot. Over one hour of color interactive video gameplay. In these mysteries, officially authorized by the estate of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, you question suspects and sift through clues to see if you can beat the Master Sleuth at his own game. The Two Lions. What is the connection between the senseless murder of circus animals and the mugging of a pedestrian? Were the double deaths of lions and lions connected or merely coincidental? The Pilford Paintings. The paintings of an obscure artist are missing. Who would want to take the paintings and why? The Murdered Munitions Magnate. A scribbled message, a missing file, a cigarette butt. What was the motive? Political advantage or vengeance for fidelity betrayed? Fidelity. So anyway, we got Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective Volume 2 for the Sega CD. Next up, uh, does not have batteries, haven't tested to see if it works, but I picked up in handheld Contra from Tiger, or excuse me, from Konami. Handheld Contra. So you have the off button, the sound button, I don't know what button that is, on start. So left, right, and that button. This is in fucking mangled condition. I'm not happy about this. And wait a minute, are, do I have instructions for this or maybe not? Is this one of the ones he threw in? No, I do have instructions and it's in fucking horrible shape. Oh boy. This here is in horrible shape. I think I paid 35 bucks for it and I probably got ripped off. But this is the black label Popeye for the original NES. And let me see if I can even close it. It is such in bad shape. Oh boy. I mean, I normally don't get games like this in this shape, but anyway, it's rough. The original Popeye Arcade Classic Series for Nintendo Entertainment System from the Arcade Series. As you can see, it's seen better days. I mean, it has seen better days. It is in rough, rough, rough shape. Popeye, now you're the king of spinach in a battle for Olive's love. Are you ready to climb ladders, jump landings, eat spinach, and punch out Brutus, Sea Hag, and the Flying Bernard? Because that's what it takes to win Olive Oil's hand in marriage. You'll score points by defeating your enemies and collecting the love tokens Olive drops from her window. The more you collect, the more points you'll score, and the faster you'll win her love. But watch out. Around every corner lurks another jealous suitor. You'll have to think with your head as well as your heart to win this fast action love affair. For use with the Nintendo Entertainment System. So you got Popeye for the NES. Next up, for the CDI... We have ABC Sports Presents Power Hitter, Compact Disc Interactive, Dave Stewart and Dennis Eckersley. It's just you against baseball's great pitchers. Dave Stewart's on the mound. Your hand tightens around the neck of the bat. He winds. The ball screams toward the plate. You swing. The crack of the bat signals a hard grounder through the infield. It's a hit. You're the power hitter. <laughs> yeah, base at the left field, you're a power hitter. ABC Sports Presents Power Hitter is the ultimate baseball challenge. Set your lineup, plan your strategy, and make on-field decisions. Control your base runners. Take lead or dive back to the bag. Call a double steal or suicide squeeze. The play-by-play -play announcer calls your every move. With over 800 video movies, ABC Sports Presents Power Hitter puts you on the field, and controllable live-action players put you in the game. Now, for the first time, you become part of baseball. ABC Sports Presents Power Hitter. It's as real as the game itself. So again, this is from the CDI. I picked up for the Sega Saturn Street Fighter Collection. It's cost a fortune. The greatest collection. We've hit you with the Super Combo. Three monumental releases featuring 27 fighters from the series that defined fighting games. Battle your way through your all-time favorites. Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and the US debut of Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold brought home in their true arcade form for the first time. The greatest collection of fighters has just entered the arena. Super Street Fighter 2. There's a big-ass crack in the back of this case. 16 of the world's greatest go head-to-head -head in epic, epic struggle for supremacy. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Sharpen your super combos to defeat Akuma, the Dark Warrior. Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold. Features new animation, moves, and modes of play. Plus, discover the secret code to unlock the first appearance of Kami in the Alpha series. Go to Capcom.com. Street Fighter Collection for the Saturn. Next up for the Game Boy Advance, I picked up Activision Anthology. Over 55 radical games from the Atari 2600, including several never-before-release games. This is from Aspire. 
Back, uh, blast back to the 80s with Activision Classic games from the Atari 2600. Remember, this is only for Game Boy Advance and GBA Link Cable, not compatible with other Game Boy systems. Get into the gaming groove with over 55 rad games from the Atari 2600 days. Dude, there are only two words to describe a collection that's cool. Totally awesome. You got Barnstorming, Boxing, Checkers, Chopper Command, Cosmic Commuter, Crackpots, Dolphin, Dragster, Enduro, Fishing Derby, Freeway, Frostbite, Grand Prix, Hero, Ice Hockey, Kaboom, Keystone Capers, Laser Blast, Mega Mania, Oink, Pitfall, Plaque Attack, Pressure Cooker, Private Eye, River Raid, River Raid 2, Sequest, Skiing, Sky Jinx, Spider Fighter, Stampede, Star Master, Tennis, and Title Match Pro Wrestling. Never before released on any Activision compilation. Baseball, uh, Beam Rider, Bloody Human Freeway, Bridge, Decathlon, Pitfall 2, Robot Tank, Skateboard and Space Shuttle, Tomcat, the F-14 Fighter Simulator, and Venetian Blinds. Never before released, Kebobber and Thwalker. Over 55 classic games, include 7 never before seen homebrew games, record your highest scores for intense competition, compete against a friend with the Game Boy Advance Game Link Cable. Multiplayer games require a Game Boy Advance Game Link Cable, and here it shows you gameplay in the Game Boy Advance video game system. So from Aspire for the Game Boy Advance Activision Anthology. Next up for the Nintendo DS, looking for this for eternity, we have Elf Bowling 1 and 2 from Ignition Entertainment. Elf Bowling 1 and 2, two holiday classics in one package. Elf Bowling 1, strap on your best pair of bowling skates and polish up your shiny Christmas ball. It's time to save Christmas from those greedy little union elves. Help Santa show those elves what the true meaning of strike is. Elf Bowling 2, Elves in Paradise. The snickering elves are back with Santa, but there is a new twist as Santa's nearer do well brother Dingle Kringle joins Santa and the elves on a cruise ship headed for an island adventure. Compete in the crazy shuffleboard tournament with the elves serving as pucks and providing their own special colorful commentary. So for the Nintendo DS from Ignition Entertainment, we have Elf Bowling 1 and 2. Next up, for the Super Nintendo in damn good shape, we have Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow from Disney Interactive. When he morphs into a ninja, you better duck. Play as Maui, play as the ninja, play as Maui, play as the ninja. Try not to get dizzy. Find the missing Shaboom Shaboom idol before your island paradise goes kaboom kaboom. 40 hours of intense gameplay, so pack plenty of attitude and your bug gun. Come beak to beak with mud drakes, rotting pirates, duck zombies, Amazon warriors, and a bunch of foul-tempered hangers-on. Laugh in the face of danger from the top of a volcano, the bottom of the sea, the realm of the dead, and ninja training grounds. Then get the heck out. Live every level like it's your last, because it may be. From Disney Interactive, we have Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow for the SNES. Also in horrible shape, Nintendo's Golf with Fat Mario on there. From T to green, you've never played golf like this. Nintendo Golf lets you choose your clubs, change your stance, control your swings, even select the angle of impact. You'll view the hole from both close up and far away, judge the changing conditions of the green, and measure the wind velocity. But watch out. When the wind changes, so does the flight of your ball. With Nintendo state-of-the-art graphics and realistic gameplay, you'll really believe you're on the fairways. So play Nintendo Golf, because there's not a video golf game on par with it anywhere. One player is one or two for use with the Nintendo Entertainment System, and as you can see, it's the box is kind of warped, and the top of it's not in great shape, but other than that, it's, it could be worse. So I got Golf for Nintendo. For the PS1, finally picked up Marvel vs. Capcom, Clash of Superheroes from Capcom, the Fantasy Fighter of the Millennium. Imagine this battle, Spider-Man vs. Mega Man, incredible, or who'd stand victorious in Strider vs. Captain America, amazing. Now Capcom brings in this number one Smash Arcade Fantasy Fighter to the PlayStation game console. Experience the world's most intense battles between your favorite legendary Capcom characters and superheroes of the Marvel Universe. Choose from 15 characters from the entire Capcom and Marvel Universe, 5 modes, arcade versus training, crossover, and gallery. Experience tag team madness in the insane crossover mode. See inside or visit www.capcom.com for complete details for Capcom's Edge. And here it shows you Captain America, Captain Commando, Chun-Li, Gambit, Hulk, Jin, Mega Man, Morgan, Ryu, Spider-Man, Strider, Hiru, Venom, War Machine, Wolverine, Zangief, and more. You can go to marvel.com and capcom.com. Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes for the PS1. Next to the PS1, I was also able to pick up X-Men Children of the Atom, number one arcade smash from Capcom and Acclaim. X-Men Children of the Atom, the X-Men Unleashed, a 100% conversion of the arcade mega hit. It's here, ultimate combat, mutant mayhem, X-Power, special moves, mid-air action, big characters, sizzling graphics, exactly like you played it in the arcade. You will need all your mutant powers, all your speed, all your strength, for this is the ultimate combat. Have you got enough to defeat Magneto, Omega Red, and the Sentinel? Are you tough enough for Wolverine, powerful enough for Cyclops, cool enough for Iceman? Are you good enough to join the new breed of mutant heroes? X-Men, Children of the Atom, the fighting game to end them all. 
Incredible interactive backgrounds, super jumps and mid-air attacks, X power moves, multi-hit combo moves, huge characters, direct conversion of the number one arcade hit. You can go to acclaimation.com, and again, X-Men Children of the Atom PS1. Next up, for the Game Boy Advance, I was able to pick up Kirby, The Amazing Mirror. Link it up, one game pack, four players. See back panel for details. This is from Nintendo. Only for Game Boy Advance, GBA link cable, not compatible with other Game Boy systems. One for all and all for Kirby. The mirror world has been invaded by an evil shadow, and Kirby's got to save the day. Fortunately, he won't have to go it alone. He's been split into four Kirbys of different colors, and with his trusty cell phone, he can call up his powerful clones to lend a hand. Call in red, yellow, and green Kirby to help you solve puzzles, fight enemies, or take out the big baddies. Play solo or link up with your friends and adventure together. Try out all new copy abilities from the arrow shooting Cupid Kirby to the melee master smash Kirby, as well as all your favorites. Play fight lightning fast sub games like Crackety Hack and Kirby's Wave. Ride single player or grab up to three friends for some frenzied fun. Some multiplayer games require one game pack per player. You can go to KirbyKirbyKirby.com or Foxbox.tv. Multiplayer games require a Game Boy Advance game link cable sold separately. For the Game Boy Advance, again, Kirby the Amazing Mirror. Next up, for the original Nintendo from Tengen, I have Pac-Man. I have a feeling, I, no, this is a licensed version, I think. Yep. Gobble the Energizers or get gobbled by ghosts. Player seal of approval here. Yes, Pac-Man is back and he's as lovable and hungry as ever before. If you remember the incredible excitement he generated, you're ready to relive the phenomenon. And if you miss him the first time around, you're in for the most fun you've ever had on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Pac-Man is ready at your command to blaze around the baffling maze, gobbling up dots, swallowing the occasional fruits, and racking up points in a big way. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde, the not-so-friendly ghosts, are dying to do some gobbling, too. Except their favorite food is Pac-Man. His only defense is to eat the Energizer's special pellets, which empowers Pac-Man to gobble the ghosts, but only for a short while. With each level, the Energizer's effectiveness decreases. As you clear each maze, the ghosts move faster. Remember, it's a jungle out there, so gobble or get gobbled. Here, guide Pac-Man around the maze to eat all the dots without getting eaten. Uh-oh, Pac-Man looks like he's almost trapped here. And here, thank goodness for the Energizer that Pac-Man just swallowed. For a short while, he gets to bunch on ghosts and rack up even more points. Tengen, the licensed version of Pac-Man for the NES. Next up, for the PlayStation, or excuse me, for the GameCube, we have X3, the official game from Activision. Mem Master the power of the X-Men. Unleash the fury of Wolverine, the speed of Iceman, and the agility of Nightcrawler as you battle through events leading up to the feature film X-Men The Last Stand. Encounter key elements of the X-Men movie universe from villains to locations. Join forces with Storm and Colossus against Sabretooth, Multiple Man, and others. Evolve your characters' powers over time and environments tailored to their skills. Featuring the voices of Hugh Jackman, Patrick Stewart, Alan Cumming, Sean Ashmore, and others. Again, for the GameCube X3, the official game. Next up for the PlayStation, or excuse me, for the GameCube, I picked up Disney Sports Skateboarding, an exclusive title for the GameCube from Konami. Disney Sports Skateboarding, show off your trick style. Mickey, Goofy, Donald, and other Disney favorites turn up the heat on the world of skateboarding. Get ready for some serious action, grind, and ollie as you take to the streets, performing radical tricks and wild stunts. Eight massive levels from city streets to space satellites, unlock skateboards that boost performance, over 40 outrageous tricks, and five game modes, including a multiplayer mode. From Disney and Konami.com, we have Disney Sports Skateboarding for the GameCube. Next, for the PlayStation 2, picked up .hackg.u Volume 1 Rebirth from Dandai Namco Games. Welcome to the world. As Haseo, you must uncover the truth behind bizarre occurrences in the MMO The World that seem to be tied to events in reality. It is a dangerous journey, but you will not fight alone. Create parties, join guilds, and develop new skills to hack the world to your advantage. Uh, utilize previous dot .hack game save data. All new storyline in a simulated MMO. Advanced AI in real-time fighting. Hack into www.hack.com slash gu slash. So again, Bandai Namco Games to the PS2. We have dot .hack gu volume 1 rebirth. Next, for the Nintendo DS, we have Kirby Superstar Ultra from Nintendo. Wireless DS single card download play for 104 and wireless DS multi-card play for 104. Kirby's Ultimate Adventures. Tons of games in one. All new adventures and revamped Kirby Superstar games await. Copy Kirby's foes to gain awesome abilities or create a helper to fight at your side. Adventure with a pal or take up on up to three friends in touchscreen minigames. So for Nintendo DS, we have Kirby Superstar Ultra. For the Master System, I picked up Rocky the 2 Mega Cartridge, twice the Mega Power from Sega for one or two players. Rocky, you're Rocky, a fighter with a dream to be the best boxer the world has ever seen. The chances were one in a million, but you made it to the most exciting event in boxing, the World Class Heavyweight Championship. In the ring, your first fight is your most feared, and you'll have to master your uppercut to knock out the never-beaten brawn of Apollo, the reigning champion. Then train dig digitally. 
Because once you're champion, the contenders will come forth like crazy, and they're hungry for your defeat. But you're a powerful fighter with a deadly straight on and a heavy hook that connects with sheer force. So play for keeps. This is the only title you've got, and every ruthless fighter wants it. Now there are no limits, says Sega from Sega Master System. Rocky. For the suit, Sega Genesis, I was able to pick up Superman from Sunsoft. Pretty easy stuff, nothing on the back. Superman for the Sega Genesis. Next up, for the Nintendo, in pretty bad shape, I was able to pick up 10-yard fight from the sports series. 10-yard fight, you're the quarterback in this amazingly real football game. Enjoy realistic gridiron action as you move your team up and down the field to victory. Run, pass, kick, punt. You call the plays in this true-to-life football game. Play against the computer or against a friend for hours of real football action. The sights, the sounds, and the plays are so real you'll think you're right on the 50-yard line. For use with the Nintendo Entertainment System, players one or two. Nintendo 10-yard fight. Next up, we also picked up Slalom for the Nintendo Entertainment System Sports Series. Hit the slopes of Mount Nasty for the challenge of your life. The freezing wind cracks against your face. The tension mounts. Suddenly you're off, speeding through the gates on one of Nintendo's 24 snow-covered runs. Welcome to Slalom, where you feel every bump, every jump, every death-defying turn, just like in a real slalom race. Along the way, you'll dodge other competitors, trees, sledders, even snowmen, as you speed down mountains like Snowy Hill, Mount Nasty, and Steep Peak in a heart-pounding race against the clock. Challenge the moguls and execute trick jumps. You'll find slalom just as thrilling and dangerous as a real thing. Players one or two for use with the Nintendo Entertainment System. Again, for the NES in decent but horrible condition, we have slalom. Throw that up here. Next up for the uh, Game Boy Color, I was able to pick up Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams in pretty damn good shape until this happened. Only for the Game Boy Color. Uh, now compel with other Game Boy systems. Walk on the wild side of the street. The challenge has been made and you're cast into the battle with nothing but cunning and skill on your side. The world's most powerful collection of warriors is now assembled in one incredible tournament. Armed with an arsenal of new martial arts moves, super combos, and alpha counters, legendary street fighters Ryu, Chun Li, and Ken collide with a lethal new combination of foes. Welcome to the most extreme one-on-one -on -one warfare ever. The all-time classic arcade fighter now in Game Boy Color System, 10 fighters to choose from, superb graphics, fluid animation, and smooth scrolling, training mode for practicing multi-hit combos and strategy. Strategies, and here it shows you gameplay in the Game Boy Color video game system. For the Game Boy Color, we have Street Fighter Alpha Warriors Dreams. Now, next up, for the Nintendo DS, I was able to pick up Spyro Shadow Legacy from Sierra. Experience the magic, live the adventure. Spyro must master the use of magic and hone his skills in order to save his allies from the mysterious Shadow Realm. Gain experience to power up your skills, cast powerful spells using the touchscreen. So, from Sierra, for the Nintendo DS, we have Spyro Shadow Legacy. Also, for the Xbox, we have the Platinum Family Hits, only edition of this, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe 2-in-1 Combo Pack. Take a blast into the past with incredible Sonic value. Seven great hits, extra games, and bonus features. Six additional Sonic Game Gear titles. Unlockable games and secrets. Redesigned interface and extra bonus material. And here's Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. The ultimate party game keeps on rolling. 300 stages of Monkey Ball Rolling, Banana Collecting Madness. 12 over-the-top mini-games, including Monkey Bowling, Monkey Golf, Monkey Billiards, and Monkey Target. Multiplayer Madness with up to four friends. Challenge Mode. Go ahead, dare your friend to beat your best time. And Epic Story Mode. Well, as epic as a story about monkeys can be. Sega.com for the Xbox. We have Platinum Hits, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe 2-in-1 Combo Pack. Next up, for the Sega Genesis, we have Double Dragon Arcade Blockbusters for the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive systems. The number one arcade smash of all time hits Sega Genesis. Simultaneous two-player arcade action. Live the legend. Twin brothers Billy and Jimmy Lee learned to fight before they could walk. Martial arts and street smarts carved them into the baddest fighting machines in the big city. But now Billy is faced with his greatest challenge, to save his girlfriend Marion from the evil clutches of the mysterious shadow boss and the lethal gang of thugs known as the Black Warriors. As a master ninja, you'll punch headbutt and high kick gutter slime into submission. Knives, whips, baseball bats, rocks, oil drums, and dynamite are your weapons. Rat infested slums, toxic factories, and brutal back alleys are your combat zones. It's non-stop high voltage action culminating in an epic battle with with the Shadow Boss, Billy's own twin brother, Jimmy. So from Ballistic, we have Double Dragon for the Sega Genesis. Next up for the Nintendo, we have Metal Gear. Already in a case, thank God for that. Craze Colonel Vermin Katafi poses new terrorist threat to the world. 
Outer Heaven leader Katafi has activated the ultimate superweapon, Metal Gear. Responding to the crisis, covert unit Foxhound is called into action, and that's where you come into play. Trained in hand-to-hand combat and skilled in every weapon known to man, your Foxhound's lethal fighting machine, codenamed Solid Snake. But on this mission, you better be sly as well to surprise heavily armed enemies busting up quietly and rescuing their hostages before alarms are triggered. Plus, you got to maintain radio contact with Commander Stealth, who will feed you crucial info on Metal Gear's whereabouts. To survive, capture submachine guns, Berettas, grenade launchers, and plastic explosives. Until you find and destroy Metal Gear, ending Katafi's reign of terror. For one player only, this is from Ultra Games. For the Nintendo, we have Metal Gear. Okay, next up for the Nintendo, I was able to pick up, and this is all screwed up. Let me just fix this. I was able to pick up Contra Force. You'll see in a moment. Here it is. Contra Force. Lead a force of commando straight down terror's throat. Commandos Burn, Smith, Beans, and Iron are a special forces team who have seen more than their share of action. Neo City is their post. Now that a terrorist group known as DNME is bombarding its citizens with a typhoon of a crime wave, the sea force has been asked to stop them no matter what. Take command solo or team up with a comrade in two-player mode. Even if you go it alone, you can call on a backup soldier for spot support. Tap into your special forces training to devise unique battle plans and attack patterns, select weapons, and decide which soldiers' individual strengths are best suited for the dirty deeds going down. You can switch commandos whenever the situation calls for it. Endure all five grueling missions swarming with traps and terrorists that take place in a warehouse, on a battleship, at a construction site, aboard a helicopter, and at Sea Force headquarters. Encounter secret passageways, hidden rooms, aerial angle views, and more. Every man is a walking arsenal with heavy-duty weaponry, including rocket launchers, flamethrowers, bazookas, rifles, landmines, and time bombs. Bombs. This mission is no cakewalk, but if it was, they wouldn't have given it to you. Hit it with all you've got, featuring simultaneous play for two players or play against the NES. So for the NES, we have Contra Force. Next up for the PlayStation 2, picked up Rock Band Track Pack Volume 1 from Harmonix Games and EA. Start a band, rock the world. Continue your rock and roll fantasy with the first Rock Band expansion pack. You and your friends can master guitar, bass, drums, or vocals in single-player, competitive, or collaborative band modes. 20 all-new epic rock tracks as performed by the original artists. Does not require Rock Band to play. Number one, 30 Seconds to Mars from The Kill, or The Kill, All American Rejects, Move Along. Number three, Blink-182, All the Small Things. Number four, Boston, More Than the Feeling. Number five, David Bowie, Moonage, Daydream. Number six, Faith No More, We Care A Lot. Number seven, Grateful Dead, Truckin'. Number Number eight, The Hives, Die All Right. Number nine, Kiss, Calling Dr. Love. Number 10, Leonard Skinner, Give Me Three Steps. Number 11, Nine Inch Nails, March of the Pigs. Number 12, Oasis, Live Forever. Number 13, Paramore, Crush, Crush, Crush. Number 14, The Police, Synchronicity 2. Number 15, Queens of the Stone Age, Little Sister. Number 16, The Ramones, Teenage Lobotomy. Number 17, Smashing Pumpkins, Siva. Number 18, Stone Temple Pilots, Interstate Love Song. Number 19, Weezer, Buddy Holly. And number 20, Wolf, Mother, Joker, and the Thief www.rockband.com for the PlayStation 2 Rock Band Track Pack Volume 1. Also for the NES, I was able to pick up Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom from Minscape. All the non-stop action and excitement of the original arcade game. Get ready for your most dangerous adventure yet. Indiana Jones, a ruthless high priest Molaram, has enslaved the children of Mayapur and stolen the sacred and powerful Sankara Stones. Your quest to free the captives and find the hidden treasure takes you through treacherous caverns and twisting tunnels across narrow ledges and fiery chasms in the perilous Temple of Doom. Use your trusty bullwhip to battle fierce thuggy guards, giant spiders, and dive-bombing bats. With skill and a little bit of luck, you might just make it out of this one alive. So, from Inkscape for the NES, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. And lastly, I was able to pick up this, uh, oh, not lastly, from Disney. Forgot about this. We have DuckTales from Capcom, a Gapcom game pack, state-of-the-art Disney DuckTales, high resolution from Capcom. Here it says save up to $10 when you purchase Capcom video games, see inside for mail and refund offer. All right. Premier Worldwide Arcade Game Designer, Disney's DuckTales. Captain Commando here. Look to me for up-to-date reports on all the exciting action games from Capcom. Until next time, says Captain Commando. Bless me, bagpipes. When will that thrill-seeker Scrooge McDuck ever quit? Never want to turn away from adventure. Uncle Scrooge has taken on his greatest challenge to discover the legendary five lost treasures and become the richest duck in the world. Join Scrooge and the DuckTales gang, gung-ho flying ace launch pad, the nephews Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and little Webby on their search. Together, they must trek through the treacherous Amazon jungle, down into the diamond mines of Africa, and even to the moon. Are you duck enough to join them on their adventure? Come along to Duckburg headquarters and see for yourself. So for Nintendo, we have DuckTales from Capcom. And now, lastly, we have a special limited edition for the PSP. I was able to pick up Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. <coughs> you can go to Konami.com. So Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And uh, let's quickly open this up. And I will show you the game itself here. 
Oh, they put it in backwards. Here's the game. Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. The greatest soldier fights in the name of peace. Stories tell of a legendary soldier named Naked Snake. In the shadow of nuclear war, his soldiers move into action in the first official Hideo Kojima game on the PSP system. So that's it. You can go to Konami.com. Here you go. This is still sealed. The game isn't, but the um, the book is for the whatchamacallit, uh, uh, limited edition. The reason, if you noticed, I read so fast is literally my camera's about to die. So I had to get those in as quickly as I could. I got everything in. Again, this store was called uh, Retro Classics in Somerville, New Jersey. Thanks for watching, guys. I have picked up some games from GameStop. I do not have the time to do it. We will see you next time.